join me on my first ever vlog I'm down here at my syndicate which is Avalon Fisheries which is uh, just outside of Glastonbury about just under 10 acres in size I've been fishing here now since April probably putting about 5 or 6 sessions now I just put one back so uh, hoping for some more get some footage and show you how I caught them the tactics I used ETC and um, hopefully you'll be able to see the spots I'm fishing and uh, yeah let's hope for some more fish Bait-wise, I've, uh, I've gone against the grain a little bit. Everyone seems to spread a lot of boilies. I'm talking three, four kg of boilies around each rod down here to pick up a fish. And uh, I just didn't want to put that much boilies in every week. I mean, most people can't afford that, and I certainly can't. So what I've decided to do is make a spot mix up. I've gone against the grain a bit. And uh, yeah, I'm just basically I've been spotting bait around over the top of uh, of each rig, of each rod, and then uh, firing out some boilies, just a loose scattering around them as well. And that's with the idea of the fish coming in, picking up the boilies, because uh, they're used to doing that, and then eventually finding my spot, and then obviously hoping that I nail one that way, um, and they get their heads down and feed on the particle. So uh, it seems to be working anyway. I've, last three or four trips I've been trying it, I picked fish up con consistently. So. Uh, it basically, all it is, is the uh, Tails Up Bait Pro Marine Boilies. Now I've got these in 14s and 18s, and then also I've put them through the chopper. Um, we've got some hemp seed in there, a tiny bit of corn, because there's a lot of tension there, so literally a tiny bit. And then I bulked it up with the, uh, the Hinders Ellipse Pellets. Now these are, I've been using them now about f three or four weeks, and uh, I'm yet to blank since I've been using them, so they're absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, I've been putting them out. Um, put probably about five spots out when I got here over each rod. Uh, I caught a fish just now, so I put uh, three spots back on top of that. And yeah, I'm just uh, hoping for the best now. <laughs>
So I was just going to run you through the uh, rig I used to catch the fish I just slipped back. Now this isn't the exact one because I just put it back in the water but it's the same, exactly the same rig. Now it consists, well we named it after a guy called Josh Bennett, he's a good friend of mine, so we call it the JB rig. He's pretty much perfected it and I've kind of stolen it. So uh, the way it works is you've got a, a loop on the back of the hook there and that's knot that's knotted on with a ring swivel and a bit of uh, a bit of shrink tube in there and uh, that's onto a size 6 captor curve this one's a coider um, the one I caught the fish on that's actually on a hybrid tackle curve I really favour those hooks at the moment but this is just one I pulled out the rig box um, and obviously a bit further down you've got a blob of putty there that's just a help it all sink down and then help flip the hook a bit when it jump, goes into the fish's mouth. Uh, hook length is about six inches and that's a uh, quarter semi stiff uh, with a couple of inches stripped back here, a supple section. Again help movement on the hook to get the fish nailed in the right spot. Now bait wise I've got a 14 mil Bait wise I've got a 14mm Pro Marine Critical, which is here, and these are topped by a 10mm uh, Tails Up Bait Fruits, Pro Fruits, um, and that will just sink nice and slowly, and then just the hook will lie flat and it will waft above the hook. Um, caught tons of fish on these, these rigs, and these, this is Zach Bait, absolutely fantastic. Should give it a go. Well, all done for the day. Ended up with two fish. I'm quite happy with that. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed my first ever vlog, and it's time for me now to uh, shoot on back home. Uh, all the best, and I'll see you soon.